Anderson, Ann Patterson, Tom Friedman. She said this week in, in a, one of the statements that raised a lot of eyebrows, let me be clear, military intervention is not the answer, as some would claim. Neither the Egyptian military nor the Egyptian people will accept it as an outcome. Some interpreted that as support for the Morsi government. Secretary of State put out a statement saying that's absolutely not the case. Uh, the administration refuses to call this a coup. What is the role of the administration at the moment? There are so many things in Egypt, David, that are not the answer. Um, you know, <laughs> um, Morsi being elected and then ramming through um, a constitution uh, pro-Islamist without the rest of the country really getting a say in that. That also, you know, w w was not really smart thing to do. So everyone has behaved badly here. You know, to pick up a point, Jeff said, you know, one of the problems in all these countries, they are pluralistic, but they have no pluralism. We forget what freaks we are. We just re-elected a black man whose middle name is Hussein, whose grandfather was a Muslim who defeated a woman to run against a Mormon. <laughs> no one does that. We are freaks. And uh, the only way these countries are going to be able to govern horizontally, for all these years they've been governed you know, vertically, from the top down by iron fists. The, Europe, the Ottomans are gone. The colonial powers are gone. Now the iron-fisted generals are gone. The only way they can be governed is now horizontally. Can they write a social contract for how they live together with their pluralism? That's what's at stake here. I don't know if it can happen.